What is up, y'all? It is Nurse Bay Carly Ray, and as y'all can see, I got some special guests. Two special guests, to be honest. Two badass special guests. Uh, sir, can you leave my hair alone? <laughs> Out and about today, Avery has a basketball tournament. What's new? Y'all already know how that go. Stepmama in full effect, baby, and I'm gonna be on it, yelling and hollering. Getting so, on my nerves. shut up. So we're at Avery Basketball Tournament right now. We're waiting on him to finish getting dressed so we can go ahead and walk in. If you guys are new to my channel, hey boo hey, I would love it if you guys join the NB gang. He stands for Nurse Babe. If y'all know, y'all know. Your girl used to be a nurse for 10 years, an ER nurse to be exact. And now, baby, I'm on this life's mission to reclaim some of my time back with my kids. So I would love it if you guys would consider subscribing. It's free. Y'all can just click the link down below. But yeah, so we are just waiting on this boy to finish up getting dressed so we can go in. Mm. Hopefully they have a good tournament today. If y'all watched my vlog a few vlogs ago, they played that green team. Well, we are in their hometown and they are playing that green team again. It's time to get payback. So out it's time to show up and show out. Hopefully our free, free throws, throws bro. Hopefully our free throws fall through because baby, in the first game, I think we missed like 30 free Don't throws. 20 right or 30 free throws. It, it was it was something crazy. It was something bad. But yeah, so hopefully we can land our free throws and just make it more of like a more competitive game. Cause I felt like we could have done way better than what we did. Yeah, Another one, thank you. Y'all, so we are at Bubba's. Avery won both of his games. Um, did pretty good. So they don't have a game again up until 6. So we are at Bubba's right now just 
trying to get some food, trying to, you know, relax, do what we need to do up until this time goes by, back because we got a whole two hours, two hours. But I don't know if y'all could even hear me, but I'm going to go ahead and get up off this camera, y'all, because they playing music and ain't nobody trying to get monetized. No, Chandler. Oh, it's so long. So I think I got everybody to like maybe one or Is it good? is the next day y'all we had that basketball tournament pretty much all day like we literally was there from 12 all the way to like 10 or so girl y'all know the usual typical stuff your girl almost got put out because we played for the championship which y'all already know we had to play that green team that i talked about earlier there was a lot of cheating going on so baby, I was locked in. I really don't even have no clips from that game at all because it was a tough game from the start. Not to mention, child, tell me why they went and recruited more people, like more big men uh, for the team, which is wild to me. They really went out and recruited more players to come and play us, which is wild. We lost by one point again, which is very devastating. We fixed our um, free throws and things like that. The only issue that we had, nobody was really just keeping up with the fouls that the other team had. So where we should have been shooting a one and one off the fouls, nobody never really said anything. It was a nail biter of a game. We never knew that when you go to overtime, you only get one minute. So it, it was just, it was just a lot, child. It was really a lot. Um, they no longer call it over the back. They call it a push. Nobody called over the back or nothing. Baby, it, it was a whole ordeal. The ref had to come over there and tell me to, to zip it. <laughs> baby, I was getting into it with the uh, one of the players' mama of the other team. Baby, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. It, it's always my battery. It is always my battery. Let me change this battery and then I'm going to come back to y'all and let y'all know what we got going today. <clears throat> so apparently... None of my eight batteries were charged. <laughs> that is great for Sorry, me. Sorry, y'all. Had to let my camera charge up. But so long story short, y'all, the game, super intense. Your girl almost got put out. So yeah, that's that. But anyways, today is Sunday and it is pretty much like a Sunday reset day for us. That just includes me getting the kids lunch kits ready for the next day, making for sure all their folders and stuff are signed and things are put in their folder. Me getting the house back in order because we're always constantly on the go with the kids and things like that. Making for sure uniforms are put out for the week. Um, we're probably going to put some on the grill because it's really nice out today if you really want to be real. We had our yard cut today, which is beautiful, y'all. Let, like, let me show y'all this yard. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. This is probably, like, one of the best feelings as a grown-up is having your yard cut. So... If y'all can see it, this is our yard. That's the pool house right there. And this is the pool um, yard over there as well. That's our neighbor's camper over there. But yeah, um, so pretty much they came out. They cut the yard really good. This was like our very first big like cut for the yard. And so um, they did really good. I'm so happy um, with the work that they did. I will, if y'all are in the East Texas area and y'all are looking for somebody to cut your yard really, really good, I will highly advise this guy. This guy was a classmate of mine. He's like two years younger, um, but he's very good, very wholesome, very trustworthy. Like I really, really, really appreciate everything that he did. He came in with his worker. They came in and got it done pretty quick. So um, yeah. I love it. I really, really love it. And then, of course, y'all already know I'm supporting black businesses. And so I really just wanted to make for sure that, you know, I gave him a chance. She's been in business for like three years now. 
got several employees. He's about to be a professor um, next semester. He only has like 18 hours left until he is a professor. So good job, Kobe, on all of your accomplishments and things like that. Good job on being a professor. Good job on running your own business for the last three years. Really, really proud to see one of my hometown area natives really doing that good, you know? Um, that's, that's really, <laughs> I hate to say it, but in the area where I live, you don't really see a lot of us you know what I mean that really just have it going on and just got it together like Kobe he got it he got it together y'all this is life honestly like this is life this is what me as a little girl dreamed about is having a nice house with the pool married with my kids, we barbecuing, it's the summertime, the kids can get in the pool, like, and I'm just chilling and I'm just vibing, I'm gonna have my wine tonight, you know, so that's, that's really just, this is the life. You know, I've always wanted these things, and so now to look back and see that, that God has really allowed me to witness these things, I'm really, I'm really beyond happy right now. Like I'm really beyond happy. And it's not even nothing really money can buy. It's just that me and my kids and my man, we have a good house, you know, a good, you know, roof over our house. The house is nice. The pool is nice. The kids can come out and play. The dog can come out and run in the yard. Like it's just really truly simple things like, like that. It's not the Hermes bracelet. It's not the Gucci purse or the Louis bag. It's, it's, it's not none of that for me. That pool looks immaculate like look at the yard we even got like the little lights up on the fence right there you know at nighttime when it starts getting dark i'm gonna show you guys that as well how it looks that's our burn pile over there that's how you know you country you got a burn pile but that's our burn pile that was another little burn pile that we had right there when we had all those leaves out but yeah I can't wait till it's like a little bit like around the evening time and i can show you guys how it looks lit up because baby it's a whole vibe out here a whole vibe I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. Okay. Deep down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue. Take me out the club, take me out the trap, take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a bruh. It is him in this window talking shit. Get out the your ass doing back there. Get out the damn window. Shoot you in one that wink. I'm shooting you in one that stink after one that wink. Boy, get <laughs> get out the upstairs oh, window, bro. All right, I'm gonna get ready to go pick up the stuff for the burgers and stuff. Yeah, all right, then I gotta go pick up Avery. What you doing? You gotta go pick up who? I'm gonna go pick up Avery and the burger stuff. Okay. All right. I, I gotta uh, throw that stuff away. What stuff? That pot that I let that grease stay in and rained in it before I can clean it up. So I'm gonna throw it all away. Bro, you're childish. Oh, that's gonna be it. All right. Get out the window. Being ghetto. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs>
You gotta go to Deep Man, cause you got here. Alright. <laughs> Bruh. Why you, you stop running? Alright. Go. Oh, he trash. Boy, trash. Take four. Cheese. Okay. Why you got that onion? I had to clean the grill off. Uh, you clean the grill off with onions? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, do you want the wire in your mouth? Nah, definitely not. Oh, okay. Shut up. So you think you're doing something? I know I'm doing something, sir. Burger's probably gonna be burnt as hell. Bet you eat it. Yeah, them suckers drying up, bro. That one for me. Hey, go. Today for our Sunday fun day kind of Sunday reset day I'm making jalapeno poppers Cordell is putting stuff on the grill so right now all I'm doing is just cutting up the bacon that is going to be wrapped around the um, that is going to be wrapped around the jalapeno poppers so I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished up get these bad boys wrapped so that way I can go outside and chill by the pool Possibly, I, I might even get in the pool. I ain't even gonna hold you. I might just get in the pool myself and, uh, you know, chill with the kids. Because today is really one of the first good days that we have had um, of good weather. It's been raining a lot here lately, so hopefully we can have better days. Y'all, so I came from a background of not really having to cook because I was an only child, so in my adulthood like this is like one of the things that i will like to say that i have mastered I can see the whole yeah. city hold on let me concentrate on sliding that baby but yeah so this is one of the things i will say that i have mastered myself so and it's always a meal that my family will always request I really don't even be liking cooking like that because like I said, I, I never came from like a cooking type of background. So I never really just put an emphasis on cooking or even learning how to cook for that matter because I was just kind of like, I mean, what's the point? My man accepts me for who I am, not knowing how to cook and all. So I win. Just like that, they are all done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 of all these bad boys are about to be put on the grill. Yes, I am. They say you a superstar. So here we go. I guess I am. You might be the man with us unless I am. Okay, I'll come for Check them fries real quick. Go ahead and get undressed, I am. Okay, cool, you want sunset? Thank you. 
It is. You in the camera? Move your head back, channel. There you go. Oh, what the heck? That's all I look like. What the heck? Hi, guys. We just got from the pool. We just got out the pool. We're about, we're well, I'm here. not hopping in no more. Because I'm finna hop in after our food, but... But because Daddy go hop I don't think I will because it's kind of cold when I get out. And then I just feel like to sit in the sun over there. And I'm gonna chill out until I can cool up and then hop back in. That's what I like to do. You want us to put our trash at, in that bag? That'll look like a lot. I probably can't even reach that. Well, I mean, I probably can. Child, not them getting me in the pool. It's not cold. Oh, I jumped in, guys. <laughs> that was crazy. I'll spray my friends. <laughs> I'm literally going to My mom is not. Watch this. I'm going to jump in on her. Cause baby, them jalapeno poppers, they are popping. Yeah, boy. Okay. Well, I'm ready for y'all to taste yeah, them and see. Oh, is it hot? Uh, a little bit, but not. What are you doing, boy? Go, 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 boys, go, boys, go, boys, go, boys. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't play. Chella, get away from there. Get away from there. 
Go toast ass out the way. Boy, shut your ass up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, oh, no, I'm here. All right. I ain't gonna laugh the whole day. All right. I ain't gonna laugh the whole day either. Oh, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 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 Grocery store wine because I ain't got time to be crying because I got a headache. <laughs> Gonna finish this off. Gonna help them out. Say the rest of this, see if this child of mine want the rest or want to taste it because. Baby, one thing about Chandler, he is a picky eater. You don't like jalapenos? It's not bad. Try it for the camera. You can't eat, you can't eat the jalapenos. Yeah, I love you. Mm -hmm. Is it busting, Jay? Come on, look at him. Is it busting? Y'all yeah, funny. Oh, airball. All around the world. Chella, don't shoot that ball like that no more. Hold on, let me go put my clothes on. I'll play with y'all. Y'all ain't gotta do it from right here. Y'all gotta do it from right here. They said he sees I had to buy her new visa. Oh, right there, Chandler. Oh, you got a visa. Ah, Chandler got an H. Right here? Like a diva. You can touch him backwards. I have a problem with the reader. I had a problem. I feel like I could live here. Shot. All right, my turn. My turn. Everybody made 
it's it's the perfume that um it's the perfume that Chelsea Janet always talk about. So I wanted to go get that one because I I felt like me and Chelsea had like similar you know um, taste in perfume. So I went there. I hated it. I ended up finding out that I actually love this perfume called Les Sables Roses. Baby, I love it. I freaking love it. This is the name of it right here. But y'all, when I tell y'all, this one right here, it's a hit. It's a hit. And I even got, a, like, they didn't have, like, the travel size version, so I wasn't able to get it to take it with me. All they had were the, was the full size version, which was, like, um, the 100 mLs. And I didn't want to chance it with taking it on vacation and then they telling me, like, hey, you can't do that. You got to check your bag because I wasn't checking a bag. Um, I was bringing it on a carry-on, so I didn't want no issues or no problems there. So I just didn't buy it. So instead, what I did was I looked online for the travel size version. They're sold out on Louis Vuitton of the travel size version. So instead, what I did was I went to Fragrant, Fragrance Lord, um, and they actually had like some travel size versions of that perfume, the Les Sables Roses. Baby, when I tell you, it's a... It's a clean smell, but it's also very strong. It lasts really long. Like I really can't even tell you the notes in it really, but look it up on Louis Vuitton website and you will see the notes because they do include it. But I'm telling y'all, I absolutely love this perfume. This is from the Fragrance Lord. Um, and their little travel size version was only like $50, so. I figured it was something good that I could go ahead and put in my purse. So this is the container and how it looks. It pops up just like that and you just spray it out like that. Twist it back down. I think this is perfect actually. It's very sleek and very minimalistic but baby this is it. And it's, this ain't no this ain't no fake stuff. This is the real stuff. So if you really truly want to try it out, I'm going to try to have the link in my description box for it. If I remember, please, y'all, if I forget, just comment and I'll give you what y'all need. I truly sometimes be forgetting, especially when I got to get these videos up. So that way I don't disappoint and, you know, get off schedule. But yeah, so that is what I got from Fragrance Lord. Those are the only two things, but I'm telling y'all, Please, before y'all take recommendations from, you know, us YouTubers and influencers and things like that, go and do your research and see if there's like a sample size version of that perfume before you actually buy it completely. Save yourself some money, honey, because if I had a, bought that Atrape, oh baby, I would have been pissed. Do you hear me? I would have been upset, honey. I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't very entertaining, like I said. We weren't really doing anything. We just got back from vacation. It's pretty much like a reset week at a basketball tournament for the whole weekend. So yeah, I, I just didn't have much to do, honey. 